And welcome to the jungle, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the brand new lab. I've been hearing some great things about this. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's play it. Let's have some fun. Um, if you're somebody that's newer to Runeterra, you can jump in and play the labs right away because you don't need your own deck. You can use one of the three pre-constructed decks. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to play um, three games, one with each pre-constructed deck. Um, or you can just play your own deck if you like. But let's let's check out the rules for this lab. The labs are just crazy. Um, supposed to be a lot of fun. Not as much competitive side, but just um, you know, just the enjoyment side. But let's see. All right. So both players have vulnerable and immobile jungle monsters on the board. Okay. So you can think of like like Monkey Idol, basically. I guess Monkey Idol is not vulnerable, but immobile. Um, so like powder kegs. There you go. Vulnerable and immobile, like powder kegs. But they're jungle monsters. Killing your opponent's jungle monster grants you a powerful buff spell, and killing a jungle monster spawns another in its place for the next round. And the new one may be stronger. All right, so let's play. We're going to quick play with the random deck. One of Heimer's pre-made decks. Labs are sweet, like the music's awesome. Okay, looks like we got Shadow Isles, Demacia. Our Mulligan, the six mana card. Ooh, we got a Dawn Speakers deck. So it's a 1 4, Crimson Raptor. I cannot be silenced or recalled. Last breath, your opponent creates a Razor Sharp in hand. Does it tell us what a Razor Sharp is? Pick one of three effects. Okay. I guess I should have read that card. I guess I could have used my one spell mana and killed their Navori Blade Scout. So it looks like if you are not the attacker, you get a jungle invade. That's what it's looking like. Oh wow, but they're not discarding the jungle invade. Even though it's fleeting. So you wish the lab boards were unlockable for standard play? It wouldn't make them as special then. That's one thing. If if they were unlockable, they wouldn't be very special. Wait, a non-jungle ally and a jungle enemy strike each other. Okay, that's how that card works. Not the other way around. So never mind. I had the I had that wrong. Um, get an empty mana gem and draw a card. That's good. Grant all allies in your hand and deck plus one plus one. Are you kidding me? Well, that's awesome. Dang. Need to kill these jungle monsters. They weren't kidding when they said a powerful effect. Alright, let's miss some food. Alright, Grizzled Ranger is my best way of killing this thing, this ancient Krug. Gift of heavy hands. It's not broken, just needs a little love. You think I should be doing the mana? What do we get? Grant all allies in your hand and deck plus two plus two. Grant get two empty mana gems and draw two. Okay, that's got to be too good. Get two empty mana gems and draw two. How? Oh, I guess they already spent their mana. Like they got to be killing my my crimson raptor. Um, 
I'm gonna try to protect my raptor. Darn. Words move hearts and armies. Get Dawn Speakers in play. Dawn Speakers is cool. Alright, yeah, they win mana draw card. Post is nice. Um, In the name of the fallen. I want I want them to block my four three. No. I want them to block the 4 3 and then I was going to Rasa. Yeah, that is true. Our opponent's trying to kill stuff. And so that's good for like our Dawn Speakers and everything. All right, well I definitely want to kill their Ancient Krug. Give me another Gift of Heavy Hands. What's a Krug? So I'm gonna Krug and heal your Nexus 3. Now nah, let's just... Grant our allies another plus two, plus two. Oh, this is getting silly. Ooh, I have the Herald. That one's different. They picked the wrong row. I think. Yeah, that one's different. Thank you, really powerful wizard. Thanks for the donation deck there. So the plan is to Rasa. That's my plan. I'll kill another one of these jungle monsters. All right, I have the Herald. What do you get? Grant all allies in your hand in deck plus three, plus three. Get three empty mana gems and draw three. Or summon an enraged herald and heal your nexus four. A 610. Oh, I guess I'm going to get the 610 because we're going to just kill them. So I, ha you know, I'm not sure how often I'll get an enraged herald in play. Our allies did not fall in vain. Nice 7 11 there. Get him. Alright, negative 10. <laughs> Dude, labs are cool. Yeah, so yeah, this is based on jund jungles in League of Legends, so these are like the jungle camps. That's really cool that they came up with, you know, just like different, you know, just that they're able to just c come up with uh, different game designs like this. It's really cool. So, you know, like if you're having like a, a tough day in Constructed, go have some fun in the jungle. Okay. 
Yeah, that was a good pre-con. All right, what do we got here? So we got the second one. We have Stygian Onlooker and Pale Cascade. We got like a night and day deck, it looks like. I want the Stygian Onlooker to be a 4-1. <clears throat> so I guess to make it a 4-1, I could just cast Hill Cascade. Let's see. So this is a non-jungle ally and a jungle enemy. Okay, right. This is like such a bad play. <laughs> But killing these jungle monsters seem to be so valuable the winter's claw that it's worth it. <laughs> Alright, first one down. Let's ramp and draw a card. I wish this could be the 5-3. And then jungle evade afterwards. Hmm. Oh, yeah, y'all are right. I should just played him as a 2-1 and then and then Pale Cascaded and drawn a card. Yeah, y'all are right. Should have just done that. Good call. I was so for focused on getting a 4-1. Too focused on getting a four one. Lover Moon guide me. Okay. So Diana will be a two two with quick. Quick attack challenger. You can take down the Ruthless Raider or the Flower Child. Ramp, get another card. That thing's scary. All right, so six power jungle monster, perfect size for sunburst. Um, They're fast and great for tummy rumbles. If I go sunburst, I have two mana left for pill cascade. Oh, wait, 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 that's going to silence it. So it won't have the last breath thing? Oh, no. Zoom. 
I'm not sure why it stayed alive through the Elixir of Iron. But oh well. Oh yeah, can't be silenced. Okay, there we go. Cannot be silenced. Right, okay. So still good. I should maybe be fo more focused on like winning the game than what I am, maybe. Instead of just killing these monsters. Yeah, I've been farming, farming too much. What happens if you if you fill up your spots? Then will they knock it? You know, an ancient krug there. If you fill up your slots. Okay, it replaces the weakest unit. Goodbye. Gotcha. Arise in our time. The moon is our queen. The night. So do I? Do I kill like Zed and Lulu? Why are you not attacking, Crescent Guardian? You should be attacking. Um, yeah, he, he bites. I should be attacking with that Crescent Guardian. Our light grows brighter. Well, that turn worked out really well. I just spent eight mana on nothing. I've already ramped all that I can. This thing would be a 4-6. Nah, let's... Let's pump these things up. Pump it up. Yeah, it heals our Nexus a little bit. Oh! You lost him again? We'll find him. Um... That's kind of bad. Because I'm not going to stun it because of this. Alright, looks like they got me. They got me. This way, girl. Leave nothing standing. The winter's claw. There you go. That'll work. So if I would have done the, the heal next like it only heals the Nexus like three. Right? 
but not eternal. <gasps> Where are you going, Pix? What are you doing? Whoa. So three would not have been enough. Hopefully we get the third deck. There we go. We got the third pre-con deck. Looks like this is what we were just playing against. That's what it looks like. Um, I am going to just keep all of these. Normally I don't think I'd be keeping picks. Like just in a normal game of Runeterra. But it fits our curve. Yes, looks like they got the same deck we did. We'll see if we can do anything cool with this picks. That doesn't seem like the best decision. Alright, let's go with the Ruthless Raider. This land is ours. Because the Raider can kill the Raptor. I guess the Starlet Seer would be able to kill the Raptor as well. But before they play another thing that can block picks, we're going to go to attacks immediately. Yeah, Rampant Draw is probably just the best thing to do early. For sure. Ramp and draw. We see through all. Now we will be able to do the Troll Chant and Fuzzy Caretaker. Troll Chant looks good against Zed for sure. Yeah, they they really need a buff picks. I agree. I don't I don't understand why picks is only a why picks is a zero one. I mean, I guess just like flavor wise. Right? Like, it's like this little thing. They're like, come on, this is like this little pick. It's only an old one. So I think it makes sense from like a flavor perspective, but from a gameplay perspective, it doesn't make sense. It, it's just completely unplayable. You can't have, you can't just play old ones. I thought it gave a permanent buff, but the fact that it's like this old one that doesn't even give a permanent buff, it's just like, oh man, it's not a playable. How do I want to do this? With the jungle invade. An auspicious season. I'm gonna try to keep them from killing my Crimson Raptor. That doesn't doesn't do anything. Pretty juicy though. Uh, no, O1 elusive still not playable. But I mean, it would it would be better, I guess. But no, I wouldn't wouldn't put no one elusive into a deck. If it, if it was, you know, elusive and gave a permanent buff. I just don't know why this can't be, like, a 1-1 one, one or a 1-2. Not sure. Without a sound. We can all hear you, Zed. Silly scuzzle bloom. <laughs> Who goes there? Yes. They won't. Suffer. 
alone. I guess you attack too. Yeah, I mean, you might as well make it a 2-3 a that gives supported ally plus one, plus one this round. Make it cost two mana. This would be a good winter. The squirrel. <laughs> if it costs zero, um, it would... I'm not sure if, it'd even, if you'd even play it if it costs zero. You could have the attack token some some turns, and you know you go like, uh, you know the one mana one two and that thing, and you hit him for a whole bunch. Maybe it'd be playable if it costs zero. Maybe. I would, I would prefer picks to be a 2 mana 2-3 two, that supported and gave the ally plus 1 plus 1. Yeah, if it, maybe a last breath effect, like last breath, give the supported ally permanent plus 2 plus 1. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know how big this Zed's shadow, shadow Shift is. This Zed is. I kind of want to actually just let this die. I didn't I didn't see. I want to see how big this Zed is. I'll just let that other Zed die and play this Zed. Oh, it's just a 4-3. We only had one Starlet's here. Yeah, maybe last breath it creates a, a spell that gives permanent plus two plus one buff. Or maybe last breath you get a help picks. A non-fleeting help picks. Maybe. I hope they don't have the harsh winds. An auspicious season. I just want to make two seven fives. Down to six. This would 
be a good winter. So what should we do with this? We don't really need to ramp, but we can draw two cards. Probably need to just draw two cards. My hand is pretty bad. That's probably what we're going to need to do is just draw two. So the really good thing about bouncing, using the Will of Ionia to bounce the Lulu is that now that now with the Lulu back in their hand, they don't get the round start, create a help picks. So they, they're not going to be able to create that, so that's good. Looks like they buffed the things in their hand and deck. Give Zed elusive. Spark and I will keep you safe. <laughs> this job, Samo. Yep, they gave their own Zed elusive. You guys have really got to keep your voices down. Okay. okay. Get things faster. They follow the wrong master. So I'll turn Zed into a 5-5. Five five. Which I can block with mine and use Elixir of Iron. I'm just gonna block and kill the Lulu. Keep them from getting the help picks. Go down to two. No, maybe I take out their elusive. I mean, I think either way, we're good. You like frogs, huh? I'll just get. I'll just not go down to two, just in case. All right, that was a good last card. <laughs> but we should be able to go right to attacks and do six damage to them, I would think. Power. Spark knows the way. All right, elusive. Please control. Elusive. Guess we're going. Pump that thing up. Not challenging that thing anymore now, it's just about the sixth life. That's all this is about now. Not disappoint me. Your own mischief. I've never seen them do like just the flower as the art with the flower child. You know, it's just the flower over there. Alright, so there we go. That's that's a lot of fun. That's the labs. Welcome to the jungle. We did have some fun and games there. All right, so if you want to do something different with Legends of Runeterra, get, you know, like you're, um, yeah, just have go have some fun. You want to have some fun? You want to do some no stress games um, where you get to do like some crazy stuff, have these jungle shrines, um, really cool. And so like I, like we showed there, that there's three pre-constructed decks. We played a game with each one. Uh, kind of got lucky to. Um, just to get paired with each pre-constructed deck for the three games like we didn't have to redo any games or anything each one was was on there um, and yeah so you can go go play any of those or bring your own deck you don't have to play a pre-constructed deck you can go bring whatever deck that you like um, you know go have fun with that 
Alright, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, so welcome to the jungle, and I'll see you for the next video.